Hey guys, we have yet another wireless CarPlay adapter over here, this time something from Mirabox and this is uh, called uh, HSV283 and we are going to do the usual uh, usual test over here, so if you are familiar with my previous uh, uh, CarPlay interface tests, you know what's coming up. Over here we have the content of the box, we have a user manual, we have the device and we have the, uh, an USB-C cable which we are going to use to connect the device to my Golf Mark 7 and over here as in all my previous tests we have MIP2 based infotainment system with uh, CarPlay enabled so uh, this car is not um, capable of doing wireless CarPlay uh, only the wired CarPlay so I would have to use a um, USB cable to connect my iPhone to the USB, uh, USB port in the compartment over here but instead of doing uh, that I'm going to connect the device and this will give us the wireless CarPlay capabilities. So let's do this and then we'll quickly go through the features of this device and I will uh, share my opinion if it's, uh, if it's any good. So let me just connect it and we will talk details in a second. Okay, so right now we need to wait a couple seconds for the device to boot up. And after those few seconds, we should see the interface over here on the display. And after additional few seconds, we will have um, the phone connected to the device. My phone was already paired with, uh, with this device. So you can see that it's over here. So right now you are getting the whole experience of the day-to-day -day use. So how long it takes for the phone to connect with the device. And you can see that we are already connected. The CarPlay interface is here on the um, on the display and we can check um, uh, how's the uh, how's the user input over here I would say it's uh, pretty pretty responsive maybe the uh, frame rate is uh, not too high maybe not as good as uh, with wired connection but still it's uh, very nice to look at and we have touch input we have uh, um, the control wheel controls over here working so let's maybe go to music and let's play something. Let's check if the uh, if the steering wheel controls uh, will work over here. So I will uh, press next track right now, and we will check if this uh, will change the um, uh, will change the track. Yeah, and of course there's about a, a second of delay before before we can. Uh, actually hear new track because of the audio buffer over here which is about one second and let's check if we can scroll through we, if we can fast forward the track if we press and hold the uh, button on the steering wheel mm, no it skips to next track instead so that's not working now let's check if we can call uh, Siri with the voice assistant button over here what time is it right now in Tokyo, Japan? It's 20.32 in Tokyo, Japan. Okay, so you can bring up the voice assistant with the string wheel button over here. So, and let's check one more thing. Uh, hey Siri, what's the weather like right now? It appears to be cloudy right now with a temperature of minus two degrees. Okay, so that's uh, also working correctly. So out of those six uh, types of user input, uh, touch screen control wheel, uh, skipping tracks, fast forwarding, uh, bringing up voice assistant with the button and with a voice command, five of those are working. Only the uh, fast forward uh, function is not working over here. What I can say uh, about this device, uh, maybe let's bring the music down. Um, if you are using uh, your iPhone, you can access uh, some advanced settings over here. While you are connected to the, connected to the device, you can um, open your web browser and enter this uh, IP address. This is the IP address of the device. And over here, you can check if there are some firmware updates and you can check some advanced settings as well. So you can uh, uh, bring down the media delay over here, which is set to um, uh, 1000. I believe this is milliseconds. So this is one second of uh, uh, audio buffer. You can change uh, some settings about the sound quality and uh, synchronization mode. You can 
uh, uh, disable the GPS uh, position pass-through so uh, if your car is equipped with GPS uh, it will send out the car's GPS position to the phone so that your phone does not need to use the uh, internal GPS receiver over here which will um, save you some battery if you are using the pass-through signal from the vehicle and you have uh, you can uh, fix the frame rate over here so we can um, input uh, a fixed value for the frame rate you can uh, uh, start up delay you can uh, set up a startup delay if you have some trouble uh, with the um, device connecting to your car maybe the uh, infotainment system boots up um, uh, too long it takes too long for the infotainment system to boot up and the device is already uh, on and it cannot communicate with the infotainment system in your vehicle you can use these settings to try to fix this issue let me show you how the device looks so we have this small box which is easy to hide somewhere in the compartment we have usb-c port at the uh, top of it and a standard usb port over here i believe this is only for firmware upgrades which you can also do with the advanced settings from your mobile phone the design is a little bit flashy with those red lines over here but this is a standard design for all Mirabox devices they make also some kind of gamer stuff like um, video grabbers and uh, other uh, video adapters and this is consistent with um, their design but maybe it's it's not the best fit for your car's interior but happily that is uh, the device is so small that you can easily just hide it inside one of the compartments as long as the USB port is over there as well um, uh, so maybe let's talk pros and cons in cons section I will uh, point out the flashy design which is a minor issue and the lack of the fast forward function over here which also is a minor issue you can just uh, point at the uh, correct moment on a uh, the yeah, track line over here on the display to browse the browse the yeah, media files and in pros i need to address that it's very small easy to fit there are advanced settings which is always nice to have and uh, to have the uh, device uh, adjusted to your personal needs and to um, make sure that it will be compatible with your uh, with your car and um, that's pretty much it. In the description below this video, you will find a link to the device if you want to get one of those. And that's it for today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this quick review and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.